Imagine you have your laptop, you want to play a gig, you just need a cable, <laughs> let's say just need a cable to connect it to, to a screen or a projector if they have, and you only need a small audio interface with three analog inputs and maybe some splitters, yes, three splitters. So if you have this minimum professional configuration, it's not really that expensive. It's great because you can use this patch for playing gig in clubs. So, what is this patch? We named it Synchromatic because the point is to synchronize chromatic effects with audio signal. As you can see, you can use three channels. So, these are your three analog inputs. And, as you can see, there is another camera part where you can see the, what we call the dry cam and the wet cam. So you have then the input, you can have a, a direct out to see if something is wrong. You have the selectors to select if you want no signals on the channel, external, so what we, we just did now, a mic, a guitar and a snare, internal to play some samples or noise. Then you have classic gains, you have classic compressor because once again, an audio signal will modify visual information. So if you want the signal to be less dynamic, to concretely do the effect, uh, you can compress it. You have classic output, but actually we don't need outputs because as I said, we split the signals. These are going into the console and also into this interface. The point of this patch is to do visual things, not to send audio. Okay, then we have our conversion module. It's um, the way the signals will be converted to digits. And you can scale the amount of conversion. If you want to increase the digit and, let's say, increase the effect, you can scale it. After that, we did something smart. We thought about, for example, if we, we didn't plug the instrument as we wanted, the, the mic is now in input one and it should be in input two. We did into the patch effect selector. So you can, if you, if you want, you can control the different effects, the three effects actually, which are the color, we, we call them color, video and flash. And you can route them to any ch channel you want if it's necessary. Then you have the effects. So this is concretely where magic happens. Uh, it's matte. Uh, it, actually, we we deeply went through the Jita technology of Max. We we tried many things to see what's possible or not, and we come up with three effects. Actually, I know you may think, oh, it would have been nice if I could have ten channels, but believe me, we did this. That's not what you want because at the end, the visual it, it's a complete mess. We try to do more sophisticated effects, such as diffusion, implementing open, open GL things, but at the end, it's just a complete mess. And the initial uh, duty of this concept is to stay faithful to the emotion of the artist. So when he plays, this guy should reflect the emotion, should reflect the dynamics, should reflect what the music want to share uh, emotionally, if I, can, if I may say it like this. So, this is why you have only three channels. In this example, we are dealing with a guitar, a vocal mic, and a snare. The snare will do a flash effect. The mic will, do, will display a video on the main webcam with transparency effect when I sing, and the guitar will bring colors, because as you can see, for the moment, there is no colors. So, let's check it out, yeah, also, here we did a module that we, will allow you to select external cameras. And then, this is it, you have of course full screen modes. Mm -hmm. 